Welcome back to TechForce. In this episode, we're reviewing the TicWatch 3 Pro Ultra. In the last episode, we reviewed its baby brother, the E3. Let's take a look at the improvements TicWatch has made by simply adding the words Pro and Ultra to this watch. First off, let's take a look what we get in the box. As you would expect, here's the watch, a charger and a few manuals. The design is really sleek and the weight comes in at 41 grams. That means it's 9 grams heavier than the TicWatch E3 and 1 gram lighter than the Apple stainless steel watch. Surprisingly, it does feel better on my wrist. It's also thinner than the E3 and has a slightly larger display with thank goodness thinner bezels which look much much better the display is covered in corning gorilla glass which delivers enhanced sunlight readability and it's resistant to scratches and bumps which is something i'll definitely be needing the reason for it being slightly heavier is that the body is made out of stainless steel and feels more premium than the e3 but I do prefer the design of the display of the TicWatch E3 because of the rounded edges. It looks a lot better than the flatter Pro 3 Ultra. Another thing that's better than the E3 is the strap. It's definitely more premium as it's made out of fluoro rubber that is resistant to heat, oxidation, oil and chemicals. In comparison, the E3 is more simplistic in its design, whereas the Pro 3 Ultra's got a little bit more finesse in its detail which I prefer. It's very comfortable, even though it's slightly heavier than the E3. When it comes to exercise, I would prefer something that's a little more lightweight, but that's just my opinion, because it's not too heavy, and I think I'll be able to get used to it during exercise. Wearing it on a daily basis is very comfortable, and it fits snugly on my wrist. Now on to the features, and my word, it's packed with features. Let's start off with what's under the hood. Here, it's got the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 platform and the Movi dual processor system. This is all backed up with a gig of RAM and 8 gigs of ROM. It has the 810G military spec. Now, if you've ever wondered what that actually means, well, these devices have gone through a series of 29 tests to prove their high level of resistance these tests include resistance to are you ready for this it's a pretty long list here we go low pressure high temperature low temperature temperature shock fluid contamination solar radiation rain humidity fungus salt fog sand and dust explosive atmosphere immersion acceleration vibration acoustic noise shock pyro shock acidic atmosphere gunfire shock temperature, humidity, vibration, and altitude icing slash freezing rain, ballistic shock, vibroacoustic slash temperature, freeze slash thaw, time waveform replication, rail impact, multi-exciter, mechanical vibrations of shipboard equipment. Wow. I hope you're impressed. All I'm hoping is that the next time I drop it from like a meter above the ground, it survives. Then it also has the IP68 waterproof rating, and that means the device is deemed fit enough to withstand dust, dirt, and sand, and is resistant to submersion of up to 1.5 meters underwater for about 30 minutes in fresh water. So, it can hold its breath for 30 minutes, but only in a swimming pool, not in the sea. The GPS and barometer allows you to track the route of your workout very accurately. If you're running or cycling, you'll know exactly where you've been and how far you've gone and where you're going. Then, it tracks every single heartbeat accurately with a system called IHB, Irregular Heartbeat Detection, and it lets you know the state of your heart, although I'm not sure if it'll be able to detect a broken heart. It also tracks your sleep and provides insight into this. It's very handy for an active lifestyle as it tracks a lot of information, all accessible on the app. You also have access to all Wear OS compatible apps as this watch runs Wear OS with some additional TicWatch features on top. 
This means you can access your messages, your phone calls, Strava, Spotify, and emails, and much, much more. Wearing this watch, you will always be connected. It has NFC, so keep your card in your wallet and make contactless payments with Google Pay. The dual display technology layers a low power screen on top of an AMOLED display, powering your watch for up to 48 hours of battery life in smart mode. This is 24 hours more than we were getting with the E3. Charging is fast and easy with a magnetic charging cable. I like to give it a 30 minute charge every day. That way I know it's always ready and charged for my next workout. When it comes to having some music while you're exercising via Bluetooth 5.0, you can listen to your favorite downloaded Spotify playlists and podcasts without even needing your phone with you. This watch is currently selling at around $300 on Amazon, which I feel is a very reasonable price for this much tech. It's definitely one of the top five Android smartwatches out there. And if you compare it to a Fitbit, it's better because it runs on the Wear OS, whereas the Fitbit runs on their own operating system, which I don't think is as smooth as the Wear OS. But if you're looking for a simple fitness tracker, then I would go with the Fitbit or maybe a Garmin, although those are sometimes more expensive. In terms of an all-round Android smartwatch, this watch is certainly the best option. TickWatch offers the best Android smartphone options. They are comfortable, well-designed and interact well with other Android devices. All the watches we've spoken about here today are in the links below. And why not hop into the comments and let us know what your favorite smartwatch is. My personal favorite is the TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra. But if you're looking for a cheaper option, consider the TickWatch E3 the one we reviewed on the previous video. It also comes in at around $100 cheaper, which is extremely good. It also has a majority of the features built into the TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra, so it's definitely worth considering if you're looking for a cheaper smartwatch option. Thank you so much for tuning in to another TechForce video. Before we say goodbye, please go and give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.